Welcome to lab 2 of our FPGA VHDL lecture series. This is the simulation part of our lab 2. In lab 2, we had already seen how to implement the Venel structure in VHDL. So, the Venel structure looks something like this. Now, we want to test if our Venel structure is actually working or not. We had already synthesized the code with a green tick, which means hardware was created out of it. Now let us go ahead and make a test bench for the same. So we follow the same procedure for test bench by right clicking on our VNLs entity, adding a new source, going to VHDL test bench. Again here, I give the name VNLs underscore TB as a convention. It's not compulsory, but a general practice. Finish. Now Xilinx is creating the test bench for us. Here in the test bench, we have a lot of comments as usual. We have a lot of code written by Xilinx for us. But again, in this code, we are not using any clock. So we must remove all the clock. Line number 66. line number 80 to 87 and also line number 89 all of these must be gone now we add our stimulus here stimulus means the input we give in our code we had a b c three inputs and assign a and assign b were two control signals z was the only output which we observe so before moving on to the test bench we must select the simulation radio button from the top left then go to test bench now initialize the values of a b and c to do that we say capital A is 1. Here I am choosing random values. You can choose your own values, whichever you wish, but must be digital logic values. I randomly chose ABC as 101. Now, let us say assign A. check for the spellings we'll say assign a is 0 initially assign B is 1 initially again these are random values we'll put a wait for 10 nanoseconds maybe then we'll swap these values to see what effect does it have on our output Writing a test bench is considering all the permutations and combinations usually. Again, we swap those values and wait for a 10 nanosecond. The nanosecond NS must turn blue. Again, let us assign both these values as 0. and see what happens now we are done with all the permutations and combinations now we go ahead and save this and click on check syntax and simulate behavioral the green tick signifies syntax check is ok ok now we have our isim simulator window open we zoom out till we get a comfortable scroll bar with us. Again, here we can see the digital signal levels that we have. As expected, our signals A, B and C have been initialized with 1, 0 and 1 respectively. Initially, we kept assign A and assign B as 0 till the first 100 nanosecond 
after the first 100 nanosecond a sign A was 0 a sign B became 1 as clearly you can see when a sign B became 1 our output Z got the value same as B in this yellow particular yellow line a sign A is 1 the actual value of input B is 0 so ideally our output should be ideally 0 now let us see after 20 nanoseconds here again so here we can see that value of assign A is 1 and assign B is 0 so the value of A which is 1 is reflected in our output exactly the same now the interesting part is when assign A and assign B both are 0 when both are 0 then the value of C is assigned to our output Z here the value of C is 1 and output is also 1 so we can safely assume that our code is working our VHDL hardware which is implemented is working fine the simulation tells us that our code worked so here we finish lab 2 simulation part